When you or a loved one has been diagnosed with a brain tumor, the questions you'll have will be countless. The last question that may come to mind is, does my radiologist have what they need to provide the most comprehensive evaluation of my MRI scan? Maybe that should be the first question. Let's start at the beginning. For a brain tumor to grow, it needs its own supply of oxygen and nutrients. To do this, it either attaches itself to existing blood vessels or it forms new vessels. When it does form new vessels, it's a process called angiogenesis. When the tumor reaches a certain size, it may be visible as a brighter area on MRI scans after administration of an MRI dye or contrast agent. These bright areas provide valuable information used by radiologists to help make a diagnosis. In some cases, for patients who have received some form of previous treatment, including chemo or radiation therapy, both tumor and non-tumor tissue can appear as a bright area on the scan and look the same. This makes it very difficult for your doctor to properly diagnose your condition, leaving treatment planning up to chance. In some scenarios, this can lead to an unnecessary surgery or the loss of valuable time to continue with your current treatment. And for these patients, time is everything. But there is hope. Imaging Biometrics has created a suite of groundbreaking software analysis tools that provide your doctor with more complete information to make a better informed diagnosis. These advanced technologies were invented over 20 years ago by our co-founder when she was working with experts at Harvard and MIT with further development and testing at the Medical College of Wisconsin. A scientific paper published in 2008 in the journal Radiology showed her imaging technique was the best one available for distinguishing tumor from reference brain. It was then that imaging biometrics was formed with the goal of making these groundbreaking methods available to all brain tumor patients, no matter if they live near big city hospital centers or in rural communities. Soon, we were recognized as setting the clinical standard for perfusion imaging. Today, when there is concern that a patient might have a brain tumor, this advanced MR imaging method called relative cerebral blood volume RCBV can accurately quantify blood volume activity, which provides valuable information in determining how aggressive a tumor is. If surgery is required, RCBV can help determine the most effective location for obtaining a tissue biopsy sample. The quality of the information gained from this method is invaluable in guiding your doctor's diagnosis, allowing them to make better decisions for optimizing your treatment. In cases where surgery is necessary, doctors want to know exactly how much of the tumor was removed. To better achieve that goal, we developed another method to more clearly show the area of resection. First images are registered and then proprietary algorithms are used to create a very specialized map called a Delta T1. This shows the true tumor extent and displays the enhancement much better than standard images alone. This method eliminates other bright signals that can be confused with tumor. Therefore, Delta T1 maps give a more clear delineation of remaining tumor or if it's been completely removed. And for patients who have undergone radiation therapy or chemotherapy, imaging biometrics can monitor subsequent MRI scans to determine if what shows up is responsive or recurrent tumor. Even more amazing is what we've achieved from combining Delta T1 maps with RCBV blood vessel mapping. This process has resulted in a blood volume class map, which have shown to distinguish tumor from non-tumor tissue. More importantly, the maps are quantitative and can be directly compared to show if a tumor is progressing or if it's responding to treatment. This type of information cannot be achieved using standard imaging alone. So having this knowledge can be very relevant for the treatment decisions that are made. When you consider that the median survival time is 14 months for high-grade tumor patients, being on the wrong course of treatment for even 60 days could be devastating. But these advanced imaging metrics can be a real game changer, useful throughout a patient's journey to assess and guide treatment management. Often these decisions can help a patient live longer or have a higher quality of life by guiding or avoiding surgery and optimizing chemo and radiation therapy treatment plans. Imaging Biometrics Quantitative Imaging can provide doctors with a better view of what is truly going on, eliminating guesswork and allowing them to provide better treatment options. Ask your doctor about how imaging biometrics can help them and you.